Hey guys, Coach Bricks here, back with our ACL series. Listen, we talked about um, all kinds of different things, you know, the female athlete, also, you know, what we think is causing a lot of these ACLs, all right, the movement pattern stuff. Now I'm gonna show you two exercises that we do that you guys can help out and give to your athletes, all right? And one is, it, it, we call it the go-to squat, all right? And um, everybody I know does squats, but most people do squats where they turn their feet out, okay? I have no idea, do you run like this, okay? I've seen people walk like this and I, I know it just hurts me looking at them, okay? But I don't see many people run like that efficiently well. So we wanna get our feet straight, it's number one. We wanna stay within the columns. So my columns, if I'm talking about columns, is right here on my shoulders. If I go straight down, there's a straight line drawn right from my shoulder straight down. So I wanna stay within this column. When I go down, I wanna push the knees out and I wanna be on the outside part of my foot. So the inside's not being touched, okay? So I'm going down, all right, where I feel comfortable, on the outside edge and then I'm gonna come up okay now you can hold a weight if you have athletes here we can do a goblet type squat but we're going down okay and coming back up now how we usually start it is we just go down we do holds so we're in this stance okay make sure my heels are away okay so they're not creeping in as I go down they stay away and I go down as far as I can and once they start to come in I stop so if I can only go here and they start to come in I stop right there if I can get all the way down okay and keep them out then that's what i'm going to do all right so if we're going to do those positions we want to make sure we get the go to squat going down we usually hold it for anywhere between 15 to 30 seconds to start out all right we usually do uh, three three reps of that all right those times once they get better at that and they really can feel those um heels staying away it's perfect then we'll start doing reps with them the next one we like to do is a static um hold as well is a split squat all right, so I'm on the outside edge here. My back heel's away, so key. Now, I'm not way out here, okay? I'm still within those columns. Here's my shoulder, I'm back here. Here's my hip, okay? Here's my hip, my knee. I'm gonna pull this out like this, and I'm gonna sit in this position. So my chest is coming right off the knee here, and I'm just gonna hold this position. So it's a lunge position, I'm just holding that, okay? And we're holding it here. Now, the key here is don't here and then push your knee out. That's not gonna work. All right, you gotta pull this hip back as I do it. And it rotates my, my body into this position. So we hold that one, same thing, 15 to 30 seconds. When I wanna get into the more the uh, movement up and down, boom, I'm turning into it, boom. But I'm never letting my inside ankle collapse. All right, turning into it, coming right back up. All right, we do eight to 10 on one side, eight to 10 on the other, three sets. All right, they're gonna be the two exercises that we always start most of our athletes with to start working on building some strength, but also getting in the right movement pattern. All right, one of the last thing you could always do is check how you stand. As you see, I stand, my feet are always straight. Okay, I used to stand like this. Right foot was always out. All right, and I also had a lot more pain in my low back, hips, when I used to do that. Since I've, since I've corrected that issue, don't have that problem. All right, so my feet wanna be straight all the time. So constantly look down at your feet. How are my feet? If you're turned out, get them straight. Basic things that you can do to start fixing your movement patterns will go a long way, all right? We see these increases in ACLs. I don't care what anybody's saying, we're seeing these increases. We're seeing them with males, we're seeing them at the college level, high school, the youth level, professional levels. They're happening all the time. We need to do a better job. And I think our movement patterns are so broken right now because our sedentary lifestyle, our inactivities, our one sport playing, our non-manual outside works, all that kind of stuff is, is accumulated here. We got to get ourselves back right to moving better, to feeling better, and to mitigate this problem that's going on with our young athletes. And as coaches, if you're watching this video, it's on you too. If you're a sport coach, your job is to make sure that your athlete stays healthy as possible. And if you're not getting to the right person or giving them the information, then you're not helping them. We should all be in this together to make sure we get our athletes so they have longevity, not just longevity of playing that sport, but also longevity in their life where they're not having issues later on with total knees, total hips, and all that other kind of stuff. All right, guys. Hey, I appreciate you guys watching. Continue. We got one more video coming up, and we're going to wrap everything up, go over everything for you guys. But if you guys have any questions, reach out to us. Have yourself a blessed day.